In 2020, a shadow fell over the world. A global pandemic. Governments struggled to respond. Factories closed. People lost their jobs. A new normal emerged. A world where remote working was, in many industries, the only option. Businesses had had the opportunity to embrace remote working before COVID-19. And a few did. But for the most part, it was a luxury rather than a necessity. But the new normal is where we live now. And technology innovators like a Pacer and AOPEN realized that there was a new unforeseen advantage to the remote device management, or RDM, platforms they were building. Those platforms didn't just deliver convenience anymore. Now, they delivered safety. They minimized the need for system administrators to travel to on-site hardware locations. They gave business the freedom to carry out maintenance and upgrades from home or on the road. And it's no exaggeration to say that they saved lives. The best way to keep workers safe was to keep them apart. It goes beyond social distancing. This is professional distancing. Here's the key point. All the functionality that had previously only been accessible on the factory floor was now on a desktop computer or on a smartphone in your pocket. In 2020, AOPEN and a Pacer decided to team up. Their goal was to make AOPEN's existing AICU platform more powerful. They did this by adapting a Pacer's double-barreled solution, Cloud Edition, to run as a plugin inside AICU. AOPEN's AICU allowed a variety of network devices to be accessed and controlled remotely. A Pacer's double-barreled solution, Cloud Edition, allowed similar control to be exercised over networked SSDs. With a Pacer SSDs now part of the AICU network, users could benefit from a complete range of networked computing devices, all accessible from a single, simple web portal. And since that portal runs on smartphones and desktop computers, users could be alerted about problems and resolve them expediently, all without ever leaving the home. First, let's take a look at AOPEN's AICU. AICU stands for AOPEN Intelligent Control Unit. Designed to meet the needs of global enterprise brands, it offers network operators an intelligent device management solution that can automate both industrial and commercial applications. AICU combines cloud service with advanced embedded device control into a single user-friendly device management portal. AICU allows operators to remotely manage devices to minimize the total cost of ownership, update their solution with minimal downtime, effectively view all devices on a single dashboard, simply integrate their solution into the cloud and spend less on operational expenses. The following features set AICU apart from other device management solutions. Secure MQTT protocol for IoT communication. Support for out-of-band OOB management allowing device reboots after an OS crash. 
hardware level access to commands including forced shutdown, remote power on, and system reset. One key recovery of host OS. Remote backup of host OS. Over the air OTA updates for BIOS, firmware, and software. These features sound amazing, sure. But how do they translate to a real world application? For the answer, let's take a look at one of AICU's recent success stories. AOPEN was approached by one of the leading international suppliers of electric vehicles. They needed help setting up outdoor kiosks that would be part of EV charging stations. The kiosks had to be able to run 24-7 even in challenging weather conditions. As the client's operations expanded, the media player would need to be updated without in-person retrofit visits. AOPEN adapted a version of AICU that could meet all this client's needs. OTA software updates and OOB remote device management support meant that the media players could be easily updated without costly on-site maintenance visits. No matter how quickly or how widely the client's business grew, AICU grew with them and helped them update their media player as needed. In fact, the advertisements displayed on the client's charging stations are a major revenue driver that has been critical to the client's success. AOPEN's focus on remote device management actually makes a pacer their ideal partner. A pacer developed the double-barreled solution Cloud Edition, a tool for monitoring SSDs remotely. Think about it. A combination digital advertising platform and EV charger is going to rely heavily on SSDs, both for storing images and video to display and for recording customer EV charging data. A pacer is an SSD specialist with more than 20 years of experience designing and manufacturing industrial grade SSDs. The double-barreled solution, Cloud Edition, represents a real step forward in terms of automation. It contains two parts, Core Analyzer 2, which allows users to choose the most suitable firmware and SSD for their application, and SSD Widget 2.0, which helps users anticipate and mitigate SSD failures remotely. The result? Longer lifetime, no downtime. From any smartphone or internet-capable PC, an operator can observe a network of SSDs operating in real-time. Thanks to a user-friendly GUI, the operator can instantly access many relevant statistics, including read-write cycles remaining, operating temperature, unexpected power cycling, and so on. If an SSD is nearing the end of its operational lifetime, the operator will receive a warning notification. These can be configured to be sent via WhatsApp, Line, Weibo, email, or SMS. And like AICU, a Pacer's double-barreled solution Cloud Edition offers support for disk and OS backup and recovery. And OOB functionality means that a compromised system can be reset and rebooted even in the event of a disaster. Go back to those combination digital advertising platforms and EV charging stations for a moment. Think of the advertising opportunities that would be lost if one or more of them crashed and showed a blue screen of death instead. Customer confidence would be compromised and downtime would mean a loss of advertising revenues. But with the double-barreled solution Cloud Edition in place, an operator would be instantly notified if even one advertising screen stopped working. And the same operator could reboot that screen with just a few key clicks, 
bringing the system back to full functionality in just a matter of moments. It's that kind of instant conflict resolution that AOpen's AICU and a Pacer's double-barreled solution Cloud Edition were built to deliver. A Pacer recently added a new feature to the double-barreled solution Cloud Edition. It's known as Core Snapshot, and it really takes DBSCE to a new level in terms of remote functionality. Core Snapshot first divides a device's storage area into two sections, a user area and a backup area. From that point on, any data written to the user area is also copied to the backup area. This process of dual writing will continue until an operator decides to set a backup point. When that occurs, data will no longer be written to the backup area. Then, at some point in the future, there may be a disaster or data corruption event that causes problems for the device. If this occurs, the operator can use DBSCE to begin the recovery process. If corrupt or incomplete data has been written to the device's user area, that's no longer a problem. The recovery process will instruct the device to rename the backup area as the new user area and treat the old user area as data to be overwritten. The device will then boot smoothly, drawing on the uncorrupted data in the new user area, which is identical to the state designated as a backup point by the operator. What really makes Core Snapshot groundbreaking is that it can be triggered via an out-of-band connection. Typically, DBSCE and other RDM systems connect to devices via an in-band network connection. However, if there's an earthquake, typhoon, or some other form of natural disaster, the in-band connection may be unavailable. In those circumstances, an out-of-band connection is an invaluable replacement. Thanks to this connection, the recovery process of Core Snapshot can be triggered remotely and costly downtime can be minimized. It's just one more way that DBSCE can make life easier for factory operators. Recently, AOpen sent our good friend Stan to the Apacer office to discuss remote device management. Hi, I'm Frank from Apacer, and I'm here at our Taipei office with Stan from AOpen. Hi, Frank. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us today, Stan. Now, uh, I've heard a lot about how AICU can help reduce the effects of customers' pain points. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, I can. Here are some of the most common complaints I heard about from our customers. If a device goes down, the device administrator would wants to be able to restart it immediately. But if the network goes offline because the operating system is crashed or freeze, then it's practically impossible to carry out a recovery operations. And what's more, on-site maintenance costs can be punishingly expensive, with overtime and other extra charges resulting from outage during the holidays or weekends. Hmm. So, how can AICU make the customer's life easier? Well, the AICU system allows an administrator to trigger a backup and recovery operations at a click of a button. So, restarting a frozen or crashed device is no problem. In the real world, this tends to solve most production issues about 95% of the time. And since labs can be done totally remotely, there's no need to send out an expensive on-site maintenance team. Hmm. Wait a minute, though. Uh, what if the network is down because the OS itself crashes or freezes? I think that's a quite good question because this is not an issue for ASCU. 
Mm. And this is what the out of band connection functionality is all about. It allows a device to be rebooted or reverted to a backup state and restart remotely even when the standard in the band connection is offline. A simple but effective strategy. Yeah. You might not know this, Stan, but a Pacer's double barreled solution Cloud Edition has an almost identical feature set. Wow. We recently added a new technology to DBSCE. It's known as Core Snapshot. It allows users to back up a drive and then revert to the backup state if data is corrupted and a reboot is necessary. And can you do that even via an OOB connection? It sure can. In a small fraction of cases, a net network might have trouble rebooting after a crash. In other words, it might keep running into a blue screen of death over and over, no matter how many times it reboots. That's too bad. Yeah, but Core Snapshot solves this problem. By reverting to a backed up version of the drive, which is completely free of data corruption, it allows for problem-free reboots that can be triggered via an OOB connection in the case of a disaster. And the whole process can be completed in just one second. Wow, that's amazing. I think Apacer and Aopen are natural partners because we both focus on solving customers' real pain points. It's not just a coincidence, Stan. This is what customers in the real world really need. Exactly. Well, I can see we're running out of time. Thanks for joining us today, Stan. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Frank. It's been fun. Shortly after that discussion, AOPEN invited a pacer to their offices in Taipei for a technology demonstration. First, we saw an advertising display functioning normally. Unfortunately, our customer was unimpressed when the system crashed and displayed a blue screen of death. Alerted to the problem by an automatic notification, the system administrator sprang into action. Luckily, he had previously performed an SSD backup using a Pacer's core snapshot inside AOPEN's AICU. He quickly triggered a recovery operation in core snapshot. Moments later, the advertising display returned to full functionality. The Apacer AOPEN collaboration has really paid off for our customers. Thanks for taking the time to join us for this presentation today. We'd like to mention that both AOPEN's AICU and Apacer's Double Barreled Solution Cloud Edition are already in production and ready to ship whenever customers need them. Support team members are standing by to take your questions in the chat box. And if you need more assistance, please contact your local AOPEN or Apacer sales representative.